Welcome back to another edition with Wife with Lisa. Today I'm in Old Westchester, which is very close to my heart because this is where I've lived um, for the past 30 years or so. And I've raised my family who all three of my kids have graduated from Lakota School District. But I'm here with my dear friend today, owner of Casey Flower Farms, and she is a full service florist, and I just call her a, a wonderful floral designer. So we're going to make our own um, signature bouquet today that um, Kim is going to feature until um, Valentine's Day, where we can get 20% off if you say that you've seen this video. But we're gonna make a, a bouquet together, and Kim's gonna walk us through that. So I'm gonna let you take it away. So we've already greened this um, prior to, to starting. So we've used a couple different textures, um, lighter colors of eucalyptus. Typically I will use two to three greens as we are doing an arrangement. If you spin this around, we have greened all of the container, hidden all the mechanics, which is important. You don't want any of your floral, uh, floral tips and tricks that we use the floral foam to show. So we've already got that all greened up. So we are ready to go ahead and start putting in these beautiful garden roses that we have selected. They are my very favorite. They are called the Free Spirit Rose. So the name of this bouquet is going to be Free Spirit. And Yay, I like uh, as I've always explained to Lisa when she's done my workshops, we are going to kind of operate on a um, loose kind of Y. A y. So, um, just going to kind of put these in as quickly as possible so we can get through the um, entire arrangement. So these are kind of the focal flowers that we are um, adding. And then we are going to go to the line flowers, which we've included stock, which will add a wonderful scent to the arrangement, as well as some beautiful snapdragons that are kind of matching in color, very complimentary in color. This is all kind of one color scheme. You know, Kim, when you were talking about that, they're, they smell good and fragrant. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things as a realtor that I think about is when walking into homes and listing houses, how important it is that your house smells good. And um, when I walk in here, I love it. Um, a lot of times we become nose blind from our own home. And it's funny she says that, not to interrupt, but it's funny because I don't smell the flowers anymore, so I am nose blind. So what she's saying is very true that you get kind of immune to the scent that you're used to all the time, especially in your own home, because I can't Absolutely. smell the flowers here. Absolutely, I've noticed that sometimes people have pets that they can't smell. And my job, as hard as it is, and sometimes it's a little awkward, but it is my job to say, hey, you know, um, we need to make sure that the, the litter box is somewhere else or I pick up this odor, but the, the, this fragrance is beautiful. The other thing I know about um, staging homes is that you want that pop of color. So beside the smell that this offers, but it's also the color and um, being a certified stager, we, we know that we want greenery in every single room. Every room should have greenery. So you have it all wrapped up in one beautiful bouquet. This one, right? Here you have, yes. So the eucalyptus has its own scent. Um, the flowers will add some scent, but as in staging the home, adding some green house plants to your rooms to brighten up a very neutral palette that you've maybe painted in order to put your home on the market. House plants can be a wonderful addition when you are trying to make your home look very livable and comfortable for a buyer. Well, tell me why, because I know, I know your story. We've been friends for years and years, but tell me why that you left a very successful career that you had to open up your own store. So I come from a family of very passionate flower people. Um, my parents always had a beautiful backyard that we, um, we it's just kind of what we did. So, um, and, and as I'm talking, I'm gonna be filling in this 
masterpiece that we're creating with some small filler flowers. Um, in go the, the spray roses right now as we have our focal flowers, we have our greens, we have our line flowers, and now I'm filling in with the spray roses. So Lisa, you can put anywhere you want. So it's really just the filler flowers are just to get kind of a little bit deeper down to give it some dimension. And we will just keep doing that until we are um, finished. Being a full service florist, right? You do all the life celebrations from fur unfortunately to death, but everything in between. But more than that, you do a lot of workshops and do it yourself um, things, which is sort of what we're doing now. And a lot of brides are taking advantage of that because not only is it cost efficient, but it's also team building and they have Correct. a wonderful time. You want to touch on that a little bit? So we offer workshops on a monthly basis, whether it's succulents, fresh flowers, very seasonal arrangements to go with the time of year. Um, my brides also can come in and we sit down and do a full blown consultation. But if they would like to try to make their own bridesmaids bouquets, um, I'm happy to do a, a creation with them for them. And then I teach them how to make the first one. And then the, the bridesmaids will do the work themselves. So it's fun for them to come in. It's just an extension of the wedding celebration and they can bring in their drinks and treats and enjoy just a, a, some quiet time together as they're creating what they're going to carry down the aisle. A lot of girls really love the fact that they've made their own arrangement. Um, one of the things that Kim has done since we're doing this video is she's offering the, um, the year of flowers. So that's going to be the raffle that we're doing. Do you want to tell them about that, what that means? So today we are going to be giving away a year in flowers for arrangements, which is a $250 value for someone who, as Lisa will explain, likes Team Morales, likes Casey Flower Farm, and will share the video of us together. Yes. And um, the other thing is the arrangement and uh, the kind of what it looks like here. 20% uh, off of all arrangements, but this was sort of a finished product, if you will. Um, but 20% of, off of any arrangements that you purchase between now and Valentine's Day, if you mention T. Morales. And I thank you for that so much. And Absolutely. I really appreciate your time. Um, and I, as a friend, I can't tell you how proud I am of Kim. She's followed her passion so much that she's grown, growing her own flowers, right? Small business, family owned business, local grower. And um, you're doing well and I am proud of you. Thank you. Thank you again for joining us at Casey Flower Farms in Old Westchester. I look forward to seeing you again at our next episode of Life with Lisa.